at noon now. A nine year old boy is a living miracle six years after he accidentally shot himself. And today, he and his family are helping raise awareness about gun safety, hoping to prevent another accidental shooting. CBS 4's Brooke Schaefer is live in Miami with this story. Brooke. Hey, Keith. Well, this afternoon we learned some alarming statistics. A recent pediatric study found that about one third of firearm injuries that end up in the ER and at hospitals like this one are unintentional. So today, an important reminder for parents to make sure they are asking the right questions. Today, Darnell Mundy is a healthy nine year old. But six years ago, a discovery at his home in Miami could have ended his life. In 2015, three-year-old Darnell Mundy climbed onto a chair in search of an iPad. Instead, he found a gun and accidentally shot himself in the head. His parents rushed the then three-year-old boy to Ryder Trauma Center. He spent several months in therapy at Holtz Children's. He was told he was not going to be able to walk, talk. And look at him now, he's talking, walking, he's progressing very fast. The now elementary schooler is a miracle and a living reminder of the importance of gun safety, especially with kids at home. On Monday morning, Holtz Children's Hospital, along with Miami-Dade Public Schools and the Injury Free Coalition for Kids of Miami, teamed up for Ask Day, which stands for Asking Saves Kids. The access that children in our community have to firearms in their own homes or the homes of neighbors is not acceptable, but it's absolutely avoidable if we take the right precautions. Precautions like keeping guns locked, unloaded, and safely stored away. The day is also a reminder to talk with other parents to make sure stories like Darnell's don't happen again. I've been watching the news a lot lately, and there's too many kids out there that's also being in the same situation as Darnell. And today they recognize that those questions, those conversations, they might be a little bit uncomfortable, but they can absolutely save lives. I'm live here at JMH, Brooke Schaefer, CBS 4 News.